Hello everyone, and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build an AI-driven chat workflow in N8N that can fetch real-time weather data and respond to user queries. Let's see the complete workflow in action. In the main workflow, a chat trigger activates as soon as a new message arrives. For example, when I type, what is the weather in Mumbai today? The chat node captures the user's input along with session details. This input is then passed to a memory node that stores our conversation context, ensuring that even follow-up questions are handled intelligently. Next, the AI agent node receives the user's query and determines that it needs to fetch real-time weather data. It calls the sub-workflow designed specifically for weather queries. Within this sub-workflow, the first node receives the location, extracted from the original query, and formats it appropriately using an edit fields node. Then, the open weather map node uses this information to retrieve current weather details, such as temperature, humidity, and wind speed. The raw weather data is then processed by two consecutive OpenAI nodes. The first consolidates the data into a structured message, while the second transforms that information into a friendly, natural-sounding response, complete with emojis and an engaging tone. Finally, the sub-workflow sends this polished response back to the main workflow, where it's displayed to the user in the chat interface. Now let's break down each node and workflow in more detail. Chat message receive node acts as the entry point for our workflow. Whenever a new chat message arrives, this node captures it and provides essential data like session ID, action, and the user's text input. Once the chat message is received, we have all the information we need to process the user's query. Next. We route this data to other nodes to handle the conversation context and generate a response. Window Buffer Memory Node maintains a running memory of the conversation so the AI can consider previous interactions. This is particularly useful if the user asks follow-up questions. Session ID is set using this expression, which received data from the trigger node, ensuring the conversation history is tied to the correct user session. Context, window length, specifies how many past interactions the AI should receive as context. By the time we leave this node, the user's message and session context are stored and ready for retrieval by the AI. We move on to the AI-related nodes that generate the actual reply. AI agent node orchestrates how the conversation is handled by the AI. It acts as a director deciding when to call external tools, like the weather service, and how to merge those results into the chat response. The source for prompt, user message, field value selected connected to the when chat message received node, ensuring the user's exact question is passed in. Prompt, user message field using this expression, which referencing the text the user typed. The system message, you are a helpful assistant, which sets the AI's overarching role and tone. The node has access to the weather tool and also leverages the conversation memory from the window buffer memory node. After the AI agent processes the user's request, it knows whether it needs to fetch weather data. If so, it calls the relevant tool and then passes all gathered information along to the next node. Weather Node serves as the external tool that retrieves real-time weather information for a given location. Query Parameter Value, dynamically set by the AI Agent Node to the user's requested location. In our case, it's Mumbai. Workflow Field Points to a sub-workflow that actually fetches current weather conditions. Once the weather tool returns data, such as temperature, humidity, and wind speed, the AI agent can incorporate those details into a user-friendly response. The next step is to finalize the conversation text. Workflow Input 
Trigger node serves as the entry point for the sub-workflow, capturing any incoming data. In this case, it receives a single field called Query, the location the user wants weather information for. Input data mode field value. Set to accept all data. This ensures the sub-workflow can receive any necessary parameters from the parent workflow. Once the trigger fires, the query value becomes available to subsequent nodes, providing the location name we'll use to fetch weather data. Edit fields node reformats or renames incoming data to match the requirements of the weather API. Fields to set ensures the sub-workflow consistently refers to the location as city. We move on to the API call next. Open weather map node retrieves current weather information for the specified city. We set operation to current weather. Format to metric to receive temperature in Celsius. Location selection to city and city value taken from the previous edit fields node. Once this node completes, we have detailed weather data like temperature, humidity, wind speed, and weather descriptions. The output then flows to our AI processing nodes. Open AI First node consolidates the raw weather data into a single query string for easier handling in the next AI step. We are using GPT-40 model. Messages instructs the AI to combine these parameters into a single output string or JSON structure. After this node, the AI returns a concise message object containing the key weather details. This object is passed along to the next AI node for further refinement. Open AI second node takes the consolidated weather info from the first AI node and transforms it into a final user-friendly response. This is where the tone, style, and any additional text, like emojis, are added. Role set to system, typically telling the AI how to phrase the output example, use simple English in a friendly manner. Use emojis to describe the weather. Text field referencing the combined data from the previous AI node. Upon completion, this node outputs a fully composed message with the relevant details. Edit Fields Final Node Maps the AI's final text to a response field, making it easy to return or display in the parent workflow. The sub-workflow ends with a clean response field that contains the final weather description. This is sent back to the main workflow for display to the user. Here in the main workflow, OpenAI Chat Model Node refines and formats the AI's final output. It takes any raw data or partial replies from the AI agent and converts them into a coherent, natural-sounding response. Model is set to GPT-40. After this node completes, the user receives a polished response. The workflow then concludes, ready to handle the next user query. This automated workflow seamlessly integrates real-time weather data with AI-powered conversation. By linking together a chat trigger, context management, data formatting, external API calls, and AI response refinement, you end up with an efficient system that not only understands your query, but also fetches and delivers actionable weather insights. Whether you're checking the forecast for planning your day, or integrating similar processes for other data sources. This setup demonstrates how versatile and powerful automated workflows can be in N8N. Stay tuned as we explore more customizations and advanced settings in the upcoming segments.